Carlos Carrasco, who's starting for the Mets, he has really struggled lately. Carlos is looking to put together what he did in Chicago at Wrigley against these Cubs at the end of May. He went one run and took it into the seventh inning. Mike Talkman in the box. Outside ball four. Excellent start for the Cubs as Talkman draws a leadoff walk. Talkman at first. Here's Nico Horner. And Horner dribbles one up the first baseline. Alonzo will make the tag on Horner. That's the first down of the night. Talkman moves down to second. So here is Ian Happ. One for four in last night's ball game. That bouncer over the mound. Tough play for Lindor. He comes in and fires and he gets Happ by half a stride for the second out. Talkman takes third so two slow ground balls in a row and the Cubs have a runner at third with two down and Bellinger grounds one down to Alonzo three ground balls after the leadoff walk and Carrasco has a successful first inning that's come to bat with no score Jameson Tyone keep your eye on that curveball because that's been really effective and he has been their most effective starters the last five times through the rotation so one man away and it'll bring up Jeff McNeil. And he hits the curveball out to left field. Coming on his hop, and he'll have to play it on the hop as he makes the slide, and McNeil's got a one-out hit. Pete Alonso, after a big night, will be the batter. Alonso now 25 career games against the Cubs, 13 home runs, and 30 RBIs. And it's drilled to center field. Bellinger back to the warning track, looks up, and it's off the wall. McNeil around third, he'll score. Bellinger bobbles it off the wall. Alonzo pulls it at second base with an RBI double, and the Mets strike first again. This ball was hit so hard. Oh, that's a home, oh, that's a that's home, a home run. run. That's a home run. That's a home run. Got it. So this is going to be Alonzo's 34th home run of the year. The umpire tells him you're not allowed to continue your tour around the bases because we haven't made the call yet. The call is overturned. It is a home run. Third home run in two nights. 34th of the year and the Mets have a 2 0 lead. Third inning, Carlos Carrasco walked his first batter, then he's retired six in a row. And Gomes goes down swinging. Another solid fastball from Carrasco for a second strikeout. So that brings up Mike Tuckman. He's the only Cub to reach base tonight. He walked to lead off the game. Lines that one into right field, and that's a base hit. That's the Cubs' first hit of the game. It comes with two outs here in the top of the third. It's runner on for the righty, Nico Horner. And it's in there for a call strike three. Got him looking at a changeup. So Carrasco gets Horner. He gets through the inning with a 2 0 lead. Here's red hot Cody Bellinger riding a nine game hitting streak. Had three hits and two RBIs last night. That is hammered right field on its way down. Cody Bellinger unloads number 17. A belly bomb, and the Cubs have cut the deficit in half. Cody Bellinger's hot streak continues. He puts the Cubs on the board with a solo shot to right. It's 2-1, to one. so Morrell draws a leadoff walk. Let's see if Jan Gomes can keep the line moving here in this fifth inning against Carrasco. That is hammered out towards left center field. That's going to roll, and Morrell can really run. On his way to third, Willie's going to send him. Morrell into scoring. Tie ball game. RBI double by Jan Gomes. He continues to deliver. 2-2 Cubs and Mets here in the fifth. Now the go-ahead run. Gomes at second base. The batter, Nick Madrigal. And it bouncer back to Carrasco. He looks at third. Goes there for the tag. Got him! With Gomes running, Carrasco, even after pausing a beat, threw it right on the bag to Vientos, and they get Gomes on the fielder's choice. And they're going to challenge, and let's see why. Oh, he's out. He got the tip of... Did, yep. If he got the toe, he's definitely out. He got the toe. Call is confirmed. The runner is out. There we go. Talkman digs in. Carrasco sets up high, Madrigal at first. And that one's close, and he got him. So Carrasco doing a great job. Picks off Madrigal. What about the inning that Carrasco's having defensively? The play to third, and now the pick off to first. Madrigal was just so far out there. The tag by Pete. Cubs do not have a challenge left after losing it in this inning. And a check swing. They look to 30. Went around. Strike three, says Ramon De Jesus. Side retired. So the Cubs settle for the tying run on one hit. Cubs two, Mets two. Two away here in the last of the sixth inning. Francisco Lindor at the plate. Swing and a miss. And Tyone in a groove as he is set down. 13 in a row, J-Mo. We got ourselves a 2-2 game. Two away. Monte 0 for 2, a strikeout and a flyout. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. 
It's a strikeout, and Jamel finishes with a flourish. He sets down 16 in a row. Still tied at two. One away here in the eighth. That'll bring up Mike Talkman on the year now hitting at 280. In the air, left field, pretty well struck. That one back on its way. Gone! Mike Talkman the other way. And the Cubs take the lead. A solo shot the other way. Three to two, Cubs over the Mets here in the eighth. Mike Talkman with his seventh home run of the year. Julian Merriweather is the first man to task to get three of the next six outs. Mark Vientos first up right-handed batter. And a ground ball toward the middle. There's a base hit for Vientos. Vientos stops at first base with a leadoff single. So after Jamison Tyone retired his last 16 batters, they took him out of the game after seven innings and 94 pitches. And Vientos greets Merriweather with a base hit. Francisco Alvarez batting for Rafael Ortega. Drilled right field, Topman back, back some more, and he makes the catch. Topman got an excellent jump on that one and was able to snare it on the warning track near that 370 marker out there. Nimmo with an opposite field hit on the fastball, and the Mets have the tying run at third with two down. Out of bounds, Horner has it. Throw to first, and Merriweather gets out of it. Good job by Jerry. Still a 3-2 game. We're headed to the ninth. And the Cubs are turning to Adbert Alzali to save this game. We begin the last of the ninth. Cubs with a 3-2 lead over the Mets. So Lindor gets a hit in the sixth straight game. And now Daniel Vogel back coming up. Tying run at first, one out. Ground ball, Alzali to second for one. On the first ball game. Alzali pointing to his left wrist as if to say, it's our time. Cubs beat the Mets by a final of 3-2.